What'd you do all the time? Mm, do you even care? Honestly, I'm bored. Okay, well, I didn't tell you the best part. She let me watch her movie, and when it was over, she asked me if it was too much like Clerks. Was it? A little, but you're missing the point. Which is... She likes Clerks. And on top of that, she says that she's heavily influenced by Kevin Smith. Isn't he the director you like? Like, he's my idol. I worship him. I hope to be half as good as him one day. I have all of his movies on DVD, autographed. I have all of his books, autographed. I have his lecture DVDs. I own his in-action figures, his comic books. I've been to three of his Q&As. I met the guy seven times and interviewed him twice. I have this letter from him, signed, wishing me luck on my filmmaking career. So he is the director you like? Yeah. Why don't you just answer yes or no? You didn't have to go into that big rant. You like the guy. She likes the guy. That's great. How else am I get recognized? Uh, it depends where I go. Like, if I'm in a comic book store, pretty regularly. If I'm in the mall, you know, I see a few people that are like, you look like Silent Bob and shit like that. But it's not, it's never a hassle, right? It's not like, I've been around with Affleck where that dude can't walk around because he gets way recognized. It's, you know, it's a good mix. Um, there's actually a lot of people that seem to know my real name, but there's just as many people that are like, hey, are you Silent? I also get a lot of, are you Silent J? To which I'm like, no. Um, the kind of fan that's like, I love you, and then stabs you through the fucking heart with a shiv. That's the kind of fan I'd have no interest in running into. Nah, I don't really have weird encounters with fans. It's always kind of normal. Here's a dude who asked me to fuck his wife, which I thought was kind of strange. Didn't do it. Now, one time we were in the commissary at Universal, and we were making mall rats. And Sean Connery was sitting at the next table. I wasn't nervous to meet him. I didn't introduce myself. But I watched him eat soup. And I was kind of fucked up. I was like, this, this fucking Sean Connery eating soup. If I finish film school? Now, dropping out of film school is probably the smartest thing I did in terms of film school. Going was kind of a waste of time for me. I used to tell kids all the time they should save their money and just put it into making a movie, because you'll learn more doing that than you will in film school, but some cats need to go through that scholastic journey before they can kind of come out the other end and actually give it a shot. If you're going to write and direct movies, write them cheap. You know, and write about stuff that matters to you, because it always winds up mattering to someone else. God, I am such a press that I couldn't even say no to this. Hey Joe, what's the website people have to go to again to find out more about our film, Stuck Like Chuck? Patrick, how many times do I have to tell you? If people want to know more about Stuck Like Chuck, they should go to www.areyoustucklikechuck.com. There they can become friends with us, Listen to music from the movie soundtrack, watch exclusive clips, and even some behind the scenes footage. Wow, that sounds like the best place in the world. <laughs> no, Patrick, just the World Wide Web.